The Star CNC is the front end for the controller and it allows you to jog the machine around in XYZ. Uh, you can uh, you can home the machine with these uh, at home X, Y, or home Z. Turn the spindle on and off manually. Uh, this command raises the Z above the work. This one drops it normally to the top of the work after you've set your zero or drops to the zero point. This one set a new position. If you jog your Z position, you can set a new uh, position. You can set that position to be zero or anything you want. So you've got set Z, set XY, and then you can do a move to, if you want to move to, let's say you want to move to 2 inches in the X, four inch, 5 inches in the Y, hit go, and then it goes, mm -hmm. it moves. So you can do a, so this is similar to, it replaces entering G-code in, in other controllers. There's a run around the border, so after you've imported your file, you can uh, run around the border of the file to check that the cutter is on the inside of it. Um, so, let's say you want to, um, let's say in StarCam, okay. Now StarCam, what it is, it's just a free layout program that comes, that uh, I supply with the machine. And, it's going to ask me this again, no, don't rush around, okay. So, you've got the spooler and the star cam, and they are uh, kind of like a router environment where you can do the de see the designs here and then quickly cut them to the, the spooler. So we're going to bring in... Star cam is... It's not a cam program, even though it called it a cam. It says star cam layout. It allows you to bring in uh, HPGL, DXF, or G code files display them on the screen and move them around, scale, do a, a bunch of editing, set the cutter direction clockwise, counterclockwise, set some cut orders, It'll, and uh, the program is really if you're using a simple program like Corel Draw. Um, this is a great program to allow you to set up your files from a Corel without having to buy a CAM program. So. Um, I'm just going to uh, I'll bring in a file here. Now you can also draw. It has basic drawing commands. Line, arc, circle, box, a few things. Measure commands. In the layout menu it has sort and uh, for setting up the file. So we're going to bring in open job. <clears throat> now a job file is is, is a, a star cam saved file. So I'm going to go down to the star cam and typically there's a demo file here All right. so I, I can scroll my mouse in to zoom in and out drag the left mo right mouse button to drag and zoom or just to drag there um, now the, 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 the one of the nice features of StarCam is this layer system you can have all different up to 50 different layers on and on each layer you can have the, the cut depth and you can have the tool number whether he wants to tell you to change the tool or if the machine was a multi-head machine it will automatically change the tool but you can turn the layers off you can turn the layers off you can just turn one layer on let's say we just turn this layer here on or you can just turn them all on Now let's say you want this, you want to cut this object here, this fish, okay? Now the fish is on a red layer, I guess it's going to cut it minus quarter of an inch deep. And uh, I'm going to set the tool number to tool one on that. Okay. Let's close the layer. So we're going, to, we're going to cut the fish. Now if we jog the machine to a position and we, we set the XY we set the machine to cut at a certain position. Well, actually, let's say set X, Y. Okay, so that'll be the new zero, zero. So we can just select the fish. I'm going to go to output, output, done. And then you open the spooler file. You, you just open spooler file. And hmm, 
it should have uh, picked up. Let me check. Environment setup. Oh, I didn't do. I hit browse, but I didn't double click on C. Double click. OK. Save. OK. Now we do pick up open spooler file. There it is. Temp zero dot LKS. Larkin spool. Larkin spool. Temp zero dot Larkin spooler file. OK. Now <clears throat> you can um, you can just run that. And the machine is, uh, this is the, the buffer in the memory of the uh, controller board. The controller board has memory, so it's not running directly from the PC. It's, it's sending the data to the controller in blocks of data, storing them and running them. So it's a buffered system. Even if you unplug your USB cable, the machine will keep cutting until the end of the file or uh, end of the buffer, or you can just hit e-stop. So let's say we hit e-stop here <clears throat> in the middle of the file. Now, this button is preview, a preview to preset button. If we pick this up, we can actually, okay, I'm just gonna drag this down, and um, th this allows you to, to start anywhere in the file. Okay, so let's say you broke your cutter and you want to start at a different position. You can you can uh, you can fast forward through the file here with the scroller down below. And it just did the eyes first. Now it's coming around the fish. So let's say right here we want to continue cutting. You can go run from here, and here is the lines. You can. There is the there's the fish. I'm going to scroll back and forward. It's redrawing as it's doing, so don't move the scroller too fast on large files. But uh, okay, so we're going to cut. You just have to go run from here. Click. Okay, and it's going to say continue cutting from here. Turn to start the spindle. Move to the coordinates, and it'll automatically do it. So now when you do run, the machine will move to that new spot on the fish. Drop the cutter and continue cutting. Right, so it's, it's doing its cutting. It's coming around, and this is running line 77 of 84 vectors in the memory of the StarCan board, the USB board that's in the control box. All right. Okay, so so the uh, if you're doing simple 2D and 2.5D. StarCam is a good companion for the Star CNC. But if you're using MasterCam or a CAM program and you want to bypass this program, you can also just bring your G-code file into, into, directly into. You can go G-code mode, just click on there, and then you go open G-code file. And then uh, you can just directly run a G-code file and you can do the same thing. You can preview it or preset the new cutting position. So it all, it works either in G-code or uh, st star cam mode. Now, if you're if you're cutting from Corel Draw uh, and you want to cut flat, this program has multiple. Uh, you can define all your tools. You can set the mo maximum cut per pass, and it'll multi-pass cutting on uh, flat 2D objects. Star cam can also import G code. Now. If we go here, oh, I'm going to go C drive, and we're going to go down to Star Cam. Uh, that's a, now this is a 3D, actually. that's actually <clears throat> a 3D uh, object from um, DCarve Pro. So you got 3D, View 3D, you can actually see, and I'm zooming. In the View 3D menu, this is this is a 3D object. So within within layers, I'm going to do File New, I'm gonna, New, get rid of it, and I'm going to go Open G Code, and I'm going to try to look for a different one. Um, oh, okay, it's it's actually it, it was a G Code. But it's a 3D now. I converted it. Okay, so this is this is in um, that's a fully 3D car. 
I can go view 3, 3D. Hmm. So view 3D. Okay, zoom all. There it is. All right. So there it is. Now if I, I can, if I can, I can change the view here by dragging the right left mouse button, or I can zoom in and out with the right mouse button. Okay, so there is on a layer. Now, if if I'll say that is on layer one. Okay, let's say on layer five, I clicked selected the the blue layer, and I'm going to draw just draw a box around it. Draw box. And now, let's say I wanted to cut out that 3D car, I could use this box. And I just, so that's a 2D line mixed with a 3D object. And then I want to set a depth of minus 0.5 inches, let's say. Close. Now, if I do a zoom 3D, you see the box there, it, the blue box around the 3D car. This, this was designed in Mastercam. And this was just drawn in StarCam. So you can mix the two. You can mix as many as you want all on layers. 2D and 3D. So the cutter goes over here. It drops. Goes around. And um, so. And if you want to cut this whole thing to the machine, you just go select it. Output. Done. And run. Fi uh, I'll go back to StarCam mode. File open. Star Explorer, temp zero, run. And that's a fast it is. Easy is to run from Star Cam. Well, let's say we just want to stop and we just want to cut the outline. You can just select the outline and you can just cut. And it's just going to um, cut the outline. And nothing loses position because the machine has, you, you've told the machine where you want your part cut by these buttons previously. And, and uh, this always cuts exactly in the, where it is in the drawing. This is, that's X, that's the origin, X00. Now you could move the whole thing. We could select it all. And we could do, in the edit menu, you've got move. You've got scale, the rotate, or we could just grab it here. And just move it like there. Okay, or you can select it all and we'll just go layout, auto position, and you can do centered on origin or a bunch of others. Okay, now, <clears throat> all right, uh, there's going to be another tutorial on how to use StarCam, so that's just a preliminary. And uh, But if you wanted to run something directly from NC, a G-code, you could just go File, G-code Mode, File, Open G-code, and then we could just go down to, uh, there's a G-code file here, StarCam, there's Centurion.nc, Open, and you could also do Preview, and um, there it is there, and you could pick anywhere you want to start, or start from, the, just hit Rewind, and um, so you can run from G code too. Cancel. All right. And you just hit run, and it would start cutting that 3D uh, G code object. And that's the end of this presentation.